Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I'm gonna explain you how to use the replay buffer for OBS Studios and Stream Elements. If you're using Streamlabs OBS, I already made a video to Streamlabs OBS, so make sure to check that out if you're using Streamlabs. I will make some timestamps so you can skip to the part you wanna see. I will show you two versions which are not requiring any plugin of OBS. One is the instant replay, which allows you to instantly replay anything what happened in your stream. And the other one is the highlight reel at the end, so you can show some highlights which you captured uh, during the event. First, I'm gonna show you how to set up the two versions of the replay buffer, and then I'm gonna show you how to use them. Navigate to settings, output, and replay buffer and make sure you enabled the replay buffer function. Go to recordings, click on browse and create a new folder. There will save all of your replays. After that, press OK and you're done. I also recommend to use the NVENC encoder if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and choose a bitrate around 6000 kilobytes per second. Go to settings, advanced, and find the file name formatting. Delete the preset and name it whatever you want. Also check overwrite if file exists. To not to forget to turn on the replay buffer function whenever you start streaming, go to general and check automatically start replay buffer when streaming. That means whenever you press that green button, it automatically starts the replay buffer. Navigate to hotkeys and scroll down until you find save replay. Choose every hotkey you want to save your replay. Now you can record your first replay. Make sure the replay buffer is running and then simply press your hotkey, which is F6 in my case, and it will automatically generate this file. When that's done, you can generate a new scene where you can play the replay. Add a media source, click on OK and browse to find the replay. Click on open and just check that settings, which I'm also using. When you're done, click OK. So now you can just open the game and whenever you click F6, it will capture the last 15 seconds. If you then navigate to the replay scene, it will automatically play these last 15 seconds. When the replay is done, switch to the game scene and the game is continuing. If you don't want to do instant replays, but you want to do highlights at the end instead, you just go back and add this file formatting preset and uncheck overwrite if this file exists. Now you can also create a scene to play the highlights. Just click on the plus, add a new scene and add the VLC video source. You get this VLC video source whenever you download the newest version of the VLC media player. In there you can add the files to play your replay. So now whenever you press that F6 hotkey button, it will generate a new replay. If you then navigate to highlights, properties, you can add these files to the VLC video source and you're good to go. They will automatically play one after each other. Thanks for watching that video, I hope that could help you out. Unfortunately you're not able to do replays and highlights at the same time without any plugin. If you have any more questions, please let me know under the comments or write me on my socials, links are in the bio. I hope you enjoyed that video and we see us in the next one.